So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 25 of our Portsmouth career mode and as you can see here we are going to be kicking off this episode with a home game up against Notts County. They were the team along with Luton that did in fact get promoted along with us into this league. So in theory we should go ahead and beat them but last year it, we went right to the wire with Notts County as they were right at the top. First and second we were throughout the whole of the season so hopefully we can pretty much prove that we've evolved and they haven't. So we are going to be going with our second squad in this one and as you see there making his debut in this game is going to be Adelaide so hopefully he can put in a good shift for this team. Good chance here for our new signing is cut through he's going to strike it from range unfortunately he hits the goalkeeper and it's not the most promising of shots but at least we had a good shot early on here but there's not much happening in this game we're really struggling to create some chance for ourselves. Uh, West Webster does in fact pick up the ball here wide and we can't find anyone we try and find Villalibre he's going to try and turn his man which he has done he's going to strike it with his left boot and it just goes inches wide of the post and we do come so very close to breaking the deadlock. Another good chance here for Jeff. He's going to cut inside. Can he cut inside? Which he has done. Surely he's going to find the back of the net. He actually hits the goalkeeper. So he's had two good chances in the early stage of the game. But unfortunately, he cannot yet find the back of the net. But Barton's going to take the short corner here. It's going to come out wide to Benemar. Benemar, a 60-rated striker. Oh my God, what a goal that would have been. He struck it, hit the upper side of the crossbar. And it did in fact go out wide. But... That would have been an absolute wonderful strike, but we've had some really good chance in the game, but we're yet to break the deadlock. Barton to Jeff. Jeff strikes it once again, but it's going to come out wide to Benemar. Benemar's going to strike it. The goalkeeper making a fantastic save. We are completely dominating this game, but like I said, we cannot find the back of the net, but a good chance here. Jeff's played the ball to Barton. Barton through to Villalibre. Villalibre tries to get his touch right, but his touch isn't right, but it comes out to Barton. Barton strikes it, and it just goes wide of the post. We just cannot score. We've got the ball out wide here with Jeff. Jeff's going to cut inside. Jeff strikes it with his right boot. And I don't know whether he got fouled in the process. Yes, he did. So we've got a good chance here from the edge of the box in the 76th minute. It's going to be Benemar to whip the ball over the top of the wall into the back of the net. It goes over the wall but gets too much power on it. And it goes over the bar. And if we go this game without, not, without scoring, it is going to be a complete disaster because of the amount of chances we've had and we cannot put the ball into the back of the net. It's ridiculous. Good chance of Villalibre here. He's going to strike it. it once again, another good block for other defenders. And they do, in fact, get the ball clear, but only as far as the halfway line. There's just three minutes left to play now. And if we score now, it would be a great result. But I don't know how we've gone this long without scoring. But Naismith's going to pick up the ball here. An awful ball from Watmore as we nearly give the ball away. We cannot afford to give the ball away. He's going to come to Jeff. Jeff's going to cut inside with his right boot. He strikes it. And the goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. And this now is just getting ridiculous. We could not, we just cannot score in this game. And I think that's going to be it for the game. We've completely dominated, as you'll see from the stats after the game. Not a good result in my eyes. So we have in fact drawn the game 0-0. It was a very interesting 0-0 result. But as you can see from the stats here on the right-hand side, we completely dominated. We had 15 shots and 10 on target and we could not score. My man of the match does in fact go to our new signing. I did think he played extremely well. He had so many chances. Unfortunately, he couldn't find the back of the net just to top off his performance. But he could be challenging Onomar or even Odegaard for a first-team place because neither Onomar or... Well, Odegaard, not so much. But, uh, I mean, Onomar not so much, but Odegaard hasn't really been performing. He hasn't lived up to his price tag at this moment in time. So Jeff could get a chance in the first team soon. So now it's time to move into our second game of the episode, which is going to be away from home up against Shrewsbury. And um, we should, in fact, win this game, especially considering how well we played in the previous game, but we couldn't score. But this time we are going to be playing with our first team squad, so Ian Atro, Bergwin and Larson, who has currently come back from injury. Hopefully one of them three can either bang in the goals. So it'd be great to see if we could get a first goal for either Odegaard and Onomar. That'd be great as well. Um, but the next game in this episode will be against Blackburn. But we are having to play our second squad in the game against Blackburn because we've had three games in the space of seven days. So fitness is a real big issue. Fantastic ball through to uh, Iheanacho, and Iheanacho's put the ball over the bar. What a wonderful ball from Onomar through to Iheanacho, and he's missed his chance. He blazed it over the bar from a tight angle, and a player of his quality, you would have been betting on him to score from there. Ruben Loftus-Cheek on the ball here. Ruben strikes it from range, and it just goes inches over the bar. And are we going to have a similar game to last time? And we cannot score. I really do hope we're not because with the players we've got on the pitch, we should be banging in goals left, right and centre. Ian Atcho creating a chance for himself. He cuts inside on his right boot and the goalkeeper pulls off a phenomenal save to deny him. 
And I just do not think we're going to score in this game either. But it, the ball comes in. Can Loftus-Cheek save the ball from going out? But thankfully, it is uh, redeemed to be another corner. So we are going to take the short corner once again and hopefully one day this thing will work out because Ian actually picks up the ball, he strikes it at the goalkeeper once again with a good save. Inacho on the ball here, Inacho strikes it and the goalkeeper is just pissing me off now. Ruben Loftus-Cheek here through to Bergwin, Bergwin strikes it and they get another good block on it and we have yet another corner. From the corner, we're going to take the short corner once again because I believe this will work. Ian Acho is going to get the ball, he's going to strike it with his left boot, it gets a good block on it and they do in fact get the ball clear. So we're 60 minutes into the game and we're completely dominating. And I don't think Shrewsbury are going to score unless they can score from here but Ender Stevens gets back and denies them. But we need to get that goal. Good chance for Shrewsbury here, they cut through, they strike it and our goalkeeper makes a phenomenal save. So our goalkeeper having nothing to do in the whole game pulls out a wonderful stop to deny them from taking a shock lead in the game. We do get the ball clear and can we get it clear far enough? Surely they're not going to score. We've completely dominated the game and now they go ahead and score. You have got to be kidding me. So we go on and lose the game 1-0 and how... And hell did we lose that game? I do not know. We had 11 shots and 6 on target to Shrewsbury's 2 on target. And we end up losing the game. My man of the match probably goes to the goalkeeper to be honest. He had a pretty decent game. Made a fantastic save. He couldn't do anything about the goal. But apart from that, our performances have to improve. And we've got to be scoring. Otherwise, we're not going to get automatic promotion, are we? So we're now going to move into the third and final game of the episode and it is currently in the third round of the Capital One Cup. We are going to be playing with our second squad but we have made a few changes. Shiplock will be playing in goal and we will be playing the first game for this guy here, Alves, our right back. He is a player that we scouted. He started at a 55 rate. We've got him up to 57 at the moment and he's got a potential of between 79 and 93. So hopefully he can start performing and obviously his main aim will be to take... Um, ben Davies' first team spot, which I do think he will be able to do it if he puts in a few good performances. Manu Garcia trying to create a chance for himself here and finally we have found the back of the net and it is in the 43rd minute and it is Manu Garcia to pick up the goal and I'm desperately thinking of signing this guy on a permanent deal at the end of his loan spell because he cuts inside and he finds the back of the net fantastically there and um, can we knock out yet another team out of the Capital One Cup? We look like we will be doing it unless we squander our 1-0 advantage over the Championships tied Blackburn Rovers. A good ball through to Fabian Torres here on his left boot. He strikes it and the goalkeeper claws it away from the line. And it looks like that should be it for the game. And yes, it is. The referee blows a final whistle and we thankfully end up winning the game 1-0. Not the most convincing of wins, but we still managed to progress into the next round of the Capital One Cup. My man of the match probably would go to our centre-back, Berger. I didn't think he played very well, but surprisingly, our right-back did in fact play very well. He kept everything simple and I thought he played extremely well for his first game competitive game so we progress into the next round a fantastic result for us hopefully we can draw a easier side in the next round maybe not a Premier League side I'm hoping it's not going to be but that is in fact going to be it for this episode if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit the like button down below and it's going to be hugely appreciated and the problem in this episode we just simply could not score thank you bye bye